You may be wondering why I look like haggard as fuck. No makeup, no nothing. And that is because it is Sunday when I'm filming this, so yesterday when you're watching this. Maybe not yesterday, because maybe you're not watching this on Monday. Shut up, Christy. You might be wondering why I look like this, and this is not the beginning of a makeup tutorial. I'm going to look like this for the entire video. Because, frankly, I don't, I don't, don't give a shit right now. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be doing the tag video, which is the YouTuber confessions. Is that what it is? Hang on. So I'm going to be doing the YouTuber tag, or the YouTube tag, or the secret of a YouTuber tag. I don't know. I was tagged by Kayla Hagee. Please tell me I said that right. I think I did. Kay Kayla Hagee? Hagee? <laughs> Sorry. She is awesome. I love her. I follow her on Instagram. Um, I also am subscribed to her YouTube channel. I'll put her link in the description of this video. She's really great. Well, and just FYI, I'm going to sit here and I am going to eat while I do this tag because she did a get ready style. Get ready style. She did a get ready with me style video where she got ready and did her makeup and looked all amazing and beautiful while she did her YouTuber tag. And I'm going to eat a sugar-free Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> I've already had two of these today, and I'm gonna have four. I worked out today, went to the gym. I'm gonna start getting swole at the gym. It was leg day today. My first day back, I haven't been to the gym in like, I don't know, six years. I can't move. I literally can't move. My legs are falling off. I did like 500 squats with weights. Oh, I'm gonna get real big. I don't wanna get big, but I wanna get shape, shape pools. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be eating while I do this tag because I don't feel like doing my makeup right now. It is 7 o'clock at night on a Sunday. And normally that's what I'll do. I just, just like do my makeup and don't worry about what time it is and then just remove it. But I just really don't want to do that. I know this is a makeup channel, but just bear with me, y'all. So the first question of this tag is how long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube for, I would say about four years. I've been actively, actually. I've been actively making YouTube videos for a, almost two, two in April, on this channel at least. This channel is only about two years old. Not even yet. These are fucking so good. You guys don't even understand about these. If you can't eat sugar, or you're on a sugar-free or low-carb or whatever you are, these Adkins Indulge peanut butter cups, balling. They taste just like a peanut butter cup. They taste just like Reese's. I have a previous YouTube channel where I discuss like infertility and diets and all these kind of things and it was just really random and it was mostly an infertility channel so once I stopped trying for kids then I created this channel I was never really interested in makeup that much before but I just thought what should I make a channel on something that I do every day and I just thought you know what makeup because people were always asking me for makeup tips and things like that so I thought I might as well make one so that was the beginning of this Rob Beauty Christie channel question number two is at what point do you think you'll stop well, I don't see myself stopping. Um, I have stopped like for little increments here and there over my YouTube time career. Um, but I just, I don't see myself stopping. I really love YouTube. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, more than anyone could imagine. But I love it. I think it's really fun. Um, I think that, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm not going anywhere. So just sit back and subscribe because this bitch ain't going nowhere. Question number three is what is the best thing? The best thing for me about my YouTube channel is the connections that I've made through people. This is probably such a typical answer. But I have met a lot of really amazing people through YouTube. Marie, Bits and Clips, she's like one of my favorite people. And I met her because of YouTube. Had it not been for YouTube, we would have never been friends. Um, I've made good connections. The possibility of having this as a career full time, that alone, being able to work from home, you shit in my pants. That sounds so good to be able to work from home. I have a lot of growing to do and I have a lot of things and decisions I need to make if that's my plan, which it is, but I need to be a little bit more family friendly if I plan on like, you know, making this my career or my job. But I really don't, I don't know. I, at this point, my favorite thing about it has probably been the connections. I feel like that's everyone's answer, but um, I just love reading comments and I love meeting you guys and I love the positive feedback. I think it's just so much worth it. Someone's calling me. I have no idea what I was just saying because my friend just called me and told me that she's pregnant, which is like, what? So anyway, I have no idea what I was just saying. I'm sorry, I'm smiling because that was just such a fun conversation. Like, <laughs> Number four is what's the worst thing? Uh, the worst thing about YouTube, oh, 
I don't really get that many negative comments. I mean, I don't mean to be like, you know, you may get negative comments, but I really don't. I, I've had maybe like four. I had the fucking funniest negative comment this morning. Do you guys want to hear it? Oh my God. I literally laughed out loud. It was on my red Christmas makeup tutorial. And she said, you kind of look like the penguin from Batman Begins. <laughs> I literally died. I read it this morning and I fucking died. I thought that was the funniest comment I've ever heard. Oh my God. Could there be a worse person to look like? I mean, just in this entire world. <laughs> yeah, probably the worst thing about YouTube is negative comments. Um, I hate editing. I think editing is, it takes so long. I mean, I don't mind editing, but it, the filming, editing, uploading process takes, I mean, I'm not kidding. This video that I'm filming right now with minimal editing is probably going to take me another four hours. And it's like now 7.20 at night. And the last thing I want to do is <laughs> edit a video. Of all of it, editing is okay. Filming is okay. But my least favorite part is filling in the description of my videos. I hate doing that. I don't know why I hate it so much. It takes forever because I link you to all the products, which you guys might not be like, well, then just don't do it. But if I mention a product in a video and you click on the link, it's so much easier for you just to click on the link. You don't have to go Google search it. I'm just trying to help you guys out and it helps me out too because some of the links, if you click on them, then I get a commission if you buy the product. It's, it's not me saying go buy the product. It's just if that happens to be on that website. So it's kind of nice for me at least too. So it's worth it for me to link them, especially for you guys and for me, but it, it takes so long, which I'm not complaining. I mean, boo-hoo. It takes long to link shit, but... Anyway, that, that's probably my least favorite part of YouTube. Um, the second part of the question is, what do you do to make that worst thing okay? Um, you can't. You just either don't fill in the description box and then put a little note in there like, sorry, bitches, I, I don't feel like doing it right now. Or, uh, I mean, that's for me. I can't get away from that part. I don't like it because I can't get away from it. Uh, if it was something I could get away from, like block and delete somebody who was mean to me, that doesn't bother me. Rude comments... Are, are irritating and they like sometimes send me into like I, I get freaking pissed and like not pissed but like it's not the rude comments that get to me like that girl calling me the penguin which is so funny to me and I kind of see what she's talking about and now that's all you're gonna see when you look at me you're all just gonna think I look like fucking is it Danny DeVito it's the things that I can't change like regular comments and stuff like that like rude comments it's the com the comments that get to me are the ones like oh, this video was edited really poorly, or I hate your background, or uh, this makeup look is subpar or something. Something that, that claws at my character as a person or the, something I put hard work into, those are the comments that make me murderous. Like, I get, I get angry on the inside. If you call me a fat piece of shit, who cares? But if you tell me, um, I think that this video was really poor quality, Bitch, I will murder people. Next question is, how many thumbnail options do you usually take? Mmm. I don't take any thumbnail options. I don't take pictures. What I do is this. I pose for the video, and then at the end, I screenshot that shit, put it in paint, then Photoshop it and add my words and stuff, and done. If I'm doing a makeup tutorial, I will take pictures of my face. Um, I'll do like close up and I'll do far away pictures. I do because I also post those on Instagram. All the makeup photos that I do, I post on Instagram because I don't know. I just, I mean, there's no, I don't have to give you a reason. I'll probably take like 20, I would say 20, 10 to 20. Next question is who is my YouTuber crush? Oh my God. Okay. So too many to count. Two of them are totally gay, so it's never gonna happen. Not that it's ever gonna happen anyway, because bitch is married. But one of my first YouTuber crush is Alex Faction, and second is Manny MUA. Hands down, these bitches are my shit. These guys are so good. I just love them. I don't know if you guys follow them, but I'll put their links in the description of this video to their channel. You guys will love them if you're not subscribed. I mean, pfft. My third crush, she's not like a crush, and she's a girl, so I'm not, I'm not gay. Well, I love gay guys. They're my crushes, but I'm not gay, and I love a girl. So, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. But, it's Mikey from Glam and Gore. She's like standalone in life, in every category of anything. I just, I love her. And I'm not saying that like I have a girl crush on her, but like of the girls on YouTube, she is the one. Probably Shane Dawson, who... It's a weird person for me to like, but there's something about that guy's smile that just kills me. 
He's so cute and his videos are, I mean, they're not for everybody and I understand why people don't like him, um, but I think he's super talented and I think he's hilarious. Oh my God, nobody can make me laugh like Shane. And he's just super cute. So he's probably one of my internet crushes. Next question is, who is on my collab wish list? Oh, collab wish list is long and intense because I really want to collab a lot with people. Um, Marie from Bits and Clips, and her and I have already done a collab, but I found that to be the funnest video that I think I've ever filmed. Um, um, Sam from Battle Ash, that would be like a dream come true for me if her and I could collab on anything. Um, Mikey from Glam and Gore, um, Kayla Hagee, that would be super fun, and her and I live fairly close together, so that one might be a reality, maybe. Um, I would love to collab with any of the big YouTubers. I would, I mean, Shane Dawson would be such a cool collab. Mamrie Hart. Um, these are never going to happen, probably not in, in my lifetime. Uh, so they're going to happen when I'm dead. I would, I would die to collab with Alex, Faction, Manny, MUA, or Patrick Starr. Literally dead, or Jacqueline Hill. Like, these people are my favorite people. Would die to collab with any of them. Next question is, what are you wearing on your bottom half? If I can stand, I will show you. Oh my god, my legs are dead. Dead legs. Can you see them? Mm, 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 mm. Leggings that I cut into shorts. Because <laughs> I'm classy like that. The next question is how long until you actually hit record? Uh, like right away. Uh, I probably, I like set up my chair and stuff and then hit record. I mean, maybe five minutes because, but that's just me setting up my camera and getting the lighting turned on. And as soon as that's done, I'm I'm, sorry, I'm ready to film. Uh, so yeah, like immediately. The next question is, how do I feel about the YouTube community? Um, I feel like it's pretty good. I don't know. Um, I don't feel like a massively a big part of it. Uh, I do have people talk to me here and there and I've got a lot of good commenters and stuff but as far as other YouTubers reaching out, uh, I feel like until you're at a certain number it's not a priority which I completely understand because why are big YouTubers going to put themselves on the line for people that potentially may get them nothing? Um, so because the smaller YouTuber is going to gain a lot and the big one isn't going to gain much, which is kind of a shitty perspective on it, but I understand. Uh, so I feel like the YouTube community is okay. If you're part of the click in the group, uh, you're golden, but if you're not, it's really hard to claw your way in. And trust me, I'm clawing. I would say just it's okay. I don't know, uh, maybe if I get to meet with some more people or, I don't know, do some more collabs or stuff. I mean, like I might feel a little bit more uh, a member of it or maybe when I reach like 100,000 subscribers or something. But at this point, I feel kind of like, just like I'm, like I'm a kind of awkward background girl um, and I'm just sort of hanging out and floating my way on through. Online, I'm, a, I'm an extrovert. Like you see me and I'm just talkative and I just go out of town. I go out of town. I go out of town on YouTube. But I mean like this, I, I can talk to you like this and be really funny and witty and blah, 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 blah. You put me in a crowd of people and I'm the same. But if you put me next to just a couple of people that I don't know, I'm a clam. I clam right up. I just clam straight up. I don't know what it is about me, but I must feel really awkward Especially in a group of people that I don't know. Just ask Marie, bits and clips. Like, if she invites me over to a party at her house, I just kind of sit on the sidelines, like... Um, so, maybe that's why I have not much interaction with other people in the YouTube community, but... Oh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm just... Maybe one day. That is a goal of mine, to become more interactive with people online. But sometimes I think I come on a little strong. Um, and I think I'm just way overthinking things uh, because I'm actually super normal when you meet me in person I can just have a normal conversation. I'm just like this, but maybe it's a turnoff for people So we'll see this went from a question of how do I feel about the YouTube community to feeling sorry about myself for not having a lot of friends <laughs> Last question is what is your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Well, I wouldn't necessarily call my channel successful. Um, I've got like 18,000 something subscribers, which is amazing. I mean, the fact that 18,000 people give a, give a care in the world, what I have to say, is shocking to me most days. If you're looking for secrets to a successful YouTube channel in general, um, it can never hurt to have good lighting, good audio, and good video, good editing. Those things can never hurt. Um, but above all else, you have to just stop trying to be other people online. And this is what everyone's going to say, just be yourself. 
just be yourself like for real it's so annoying to me and so embarrassing it makes me cringe so hardcore I don't know if you guys do this but just tell me if you're watching somebody's video and you can tell that they've watched a lot of another big youtubers videos and they're trying to be like them that really 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 makes me cringe now what I don't want to hear in the comments of this video is people commenting back on my last few videos which I've gotten a couple of negative comments on which just tell what the fuck is that all about sorry but all I can say is trying to make tutorials and things like that better, better editing and stuff like that doesn't mean that you're trying to be like anybody else on YouTube, it just means you're trying to better your own channel. What I hate is when you come across another beauty guru, and I use that term loosely because I absolutely hate it, I think it's so cringy, but, and they're just, just like another one of the beauty gurus on YouTube. They talk to you and just like talk about makeup products and um, I absolutely love this foundation. It's just so embarrassing to me. So just don't be like that and your channel, if people like your personality, will gravitate towards it. People who like you will find you on YouTube and they'll subscribe and they'll stay and they'll, they'll you know, they'll continue being a part of it all. It's the people, you know, that's how you're going to get a successful YouTube channel is by regularly uploading content, which I suck ass at, I know. Having good equipment, lighting, uh, videos, all that kind of stuff, th th that's, that's a given. Having good content, so just making sure that anything you put out is something that you're proud of or at least something that you think people will give a shit to watch. If that means that you do your own thing, you do your own videos, then just do you, you do you, because I'm just going to use like Zoe as an example. There is already a Zoe. There, there is Zoella. She is her own YouTube channel. So if you try acting like her, there already is one of her. So if people want to watch somebody like that, they'll just go watch her. They don't want to watch you acting like her or being like her or trying to give off that persona. It's not. It's no. That's not what people want to watch. They'd want to watch you because you're original, you're like you are, you're just, you're being yourself and you just don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. And that's kind of the, what I try to do on my channel. Just be yourself. This is how I talk to my friends. I just talk, I literally talk to them exactly like this. So, I don't know. That's, the, I, I wouldn't say I necessarily have a successful YouTube channel. Maybe, you know, 80,000 subscribers from now ask me that question again and I'll tell you. Um, but just put out regular scheduled content, you know, I mean, it's... And uh, who do I tag? I tag Marie Bits and Clips, Sam from Battle Ash. She won't watch this probably, but you can let her know that I tagged her. And those are the only two people I can think of off the top of my head because for some reason I am drawing a blank. So I know I probably should have put makeup on for this video because if this is the first time anybody is seeing me on this channel, then they see this face instead of glam face. However, I think that you probably don't really care, uh, but if you guys would like to see more videos from me, just hit subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, those are all at Robbie D. Christie. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video.